We are gathering on the fringes of this distinguished UNSDG summit, which is, we are halfway to, to the mark that we've set ourselves to ensure that every girl is in school or every boy is in school and other uh, targets that we have set. So we are here uh, thinking about the words of Chinua Achebe. If people from Africa, Africa, hands up. Anybody from Europe? America, the US? Yeah. We are all of us here from uh, the various uh, continents uh, to come to this conversation. Chinua Achebe said, while the moon shines everywhere, sometimes it's best viewed from common vantage point. While the moon shines everywhere, sometimes it's best viewed together from a common vantage point. Today our collective gaze turns to the cause of girl education in Africa. Every one of us from varied organizations and places and backgrounds contributes unique insights, but our combined strength is where true transformative uh, potential lies. This assembly serves as a common vantage point. We could have been in Uganda, we could have been in Kenya, Zambia, South Africa, the US, France, but we have all come to look at the moon, to gaze at it together from a common uh, vantage point. Our mission is unified, to empower every African girl through education. Organizations like AUCFA, UNGE, UN Women, uh, the Hilton Foundation, the Bakita Partnership for Education, and others signify global education. Achebe's wisdom is, rings true. Viewing our challenges and goals collectively adds depth and strength to our mission. Let me also draw from biblical visions seem finite, but united we embody the miracle of abundance, amplifying the potential for change. With every partner contributing uniquely, AUCF are symbolizing African unity, the Uton Foundation catalyzing transformative philanthropy, UNGE championing global collaboration for girls' education, UN women emphasizing holistic approaches, and all of us here gathered bridging uh, faith and action, commitment and action, we harness the promise of comprehensive impact. A little bit more from biblical wisdom. Drawing upon the parable of the lost sheep, we are reminded of the immeasurable value of every individual. Sometimes when we speak about education, we speak about it as an instrument to develop countries or to develop communities. In the Catholic Church, we believe the beginning point should be the individual. We educate individuals in their own right because it's their right and we want to enhance their dignity and their personal potential in themselves, of themselves, before we consider the economy. In our drive to ensure no girl is left behind, we realize the broader impact on our community, a society, is, a society that is inclusive, empathetic, enriched, and empowered. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed partners, at the heart of our shared mission lies profound wisdom, age old yet relevant, the parable of the lost sheep, like I said. In the gospel, when one sheep goes astray, the shepherd leaves 99 in the wilderness to search for the one that is lost. And when he or she finds it, they rejoice moreover that one than over the 99 that never went astray. Just as the shepherd's concern is for every member of their flock, so too is our concern for every girl in our society. For every girl who falls out of school, who faces the bondage of early marriage, abuse, who is scarred by harmful cultural practices, there is community yearning to bring her back to the fold. Like the lost sheep, these girls, despite being in the minority, 
deserve every bit of our attention, effort, and above all, our compassion. Our commitment to education is not merely about numbers or statistics. We've brought so many girls back in school. Our commitment is rooted, is deep, deep, is, is rooted in the deep-seated belief that every girl, irrespective of her circumstances, holds immense potential and value worthy of our attention. When even one girl is denied the right to education, it is a loss for all of us, akin to the shepherd's lost sheep. Our task then is to ensure that no girl is left behind, that no girl is considered too far gone to be reached, taught or nurtured. The beauty of this parable is not just the shepherd's relentless pursuit, but in the community's collective joy when the lost is found. And that is what drives us here. That is why we are here. We've come from far and wide. This vision of a community where every girl, even those who were lost, can find their place, their voice, and their purpose. Our endeavors in education are anchored in compassion, understanding, and a deep-seated commitment to the well-being of every individual. For in seeking out and supporting the lost sheep among our girls, we not only uplift them, but also enrich the entire community, creating a more inclusive, empathetic, and prosperous society. As we move forward in our mission, let us always be guided by this timely wisdom. Let's reach out with open arms to every girl, no matter how far they are, gone astray, abused, scathed, offering her the hope of a brighter future, the promise of a nurturing community, and the joy of rediscovery. Finally, from the wisdom of economics, Economics teaches us that we cannot build any community unless we build capital. And among the three or four forms of capital that economics insists on that can propel a society is the development of human capital. And to, to build human capital requires financing. It requires investment. We need to make investments. We need to make finances flow to where the girls are, put in money, and bring them back. Our desires are important, our vision is important, but without adequate financing, we cannot get the girls back to school. We cannot give them that transformative education that they desire, that they deserve, and that we need. If we don't build that capital, we do not only lose the girls, but we also lose our own communities. Every girl carries their own unique story. What is particular about us in the Bakita Partnership for Education is that we privilege the personal experience of the girls. As I said, they are not statistics. They are individual human beings with meaning and purpose, with a narrative powerful enough to attract our attention. Every girl comes with tales of resilience, dreams and yielding to adversity and the boundless spirit of youth. And as much as we value and rely on data and statistics to guide our strategies, we must remember that behind each number is a girl with aspirations, with hopes, with challenges that are uniquely their own. Over the next couple of hours, beyond the structured agenda and our formal addresses as I'm doing, we have the privilege and responsibility to listen directly to a few of these stories. These aren't just stories. They are a reflection of lived experiences that offer first-hand perspective on what is at stake. They serve as poignant reminders of why we are here, that something we are working toward. Statistics are important, 
huh? and with my background and several of you, statistics give us scope, but stories give us depth. Statistics give us scope. Stories give us depth and understanding. They put a face to our mission, reminding us that our efforts aren't just about improving numbers. How many have we taken back to school? It's important, but it's not enough. But we are focused on real tangible change in the lives, in the individual lives of the girls. So as we proceed, let's carry these narratives with us, allowing them to shape our perspectives guide our decisions as we listen empathetically with compassion that our actions may be driven toward recovering lost hopes rebuilding lives because it's not just about what we know from data but how we respond to what we hear so we are here to listen and to promote listening in our world as pope francis teaches us that our policymakers and those who make decisions may also listen with empathy to these stories, to feel and understand from these young narrators. We shall ensure that our response is not just informed, that our, uh, our listening is informed by empathy, ensuring that every girl, every voice and every story is at the very heart of our shared mission. As I've mentioned, we will not only delve into structural discussions, but more vital, vitally listen to the girls. Our mission is clear, to elevate lives, dreams, aspirations of countless girls. The onus is on every one of us to ensure that no one is left behind. Each one of us is a shepherd sent out to seek out the lost. Our strategies aren't just guided by anything else, but those, these powerful narratives that we shall listen to, highlighting that every girl's story is a pulse of our shared objectives. I welcome you all and thank you that you are here. God bless.